Is black really a color? Well, according to science, no. What? That's so dumb. Science, right? But thankfully, according to people who actually make paint, black is a color. Let's start with some basic neutrals. Since complements on the color wheel cancel each other out, mixing the two will give you a neutral color that blends naturally into either starting color. I'm gonna sketch out these concepts on this mushroom set to give you a general idea of how this looks. I like mixing purple with yellow to shade my yellows because this avoids turning them green, like when you mix them with black. Pure black from a tube can be useful, but sometimes it can look a little flat. Blacks in nature, other than complete and utter darkness, actually have a variety of hues in it that add a richness in our perception of the object. Even if you prefer the convenience of painting straight out of a black bottle of paint like a bozo, you can easily create a black that is more naturally suited to the other colors of your project. To get a truly deep, dark black, mixing red, blue, and yellow together is a good way to go. You can lean into whichever color you'd like to keep your black related to. Since these are the primaries that make up every other color, it's kind of like mixing all of the colors of the universe together. You can tell on the purple mushroom how much more natural the black we mixed goes with the color scheme as opposed to the flat black, which looks a little cartoonish. Lastly, mixing brown and blue will provide a very rich black. Changing the amount of blue or brown that you add will swing the black to be cooler or warmer, depending on which color there is more of in your recipe. Why do blue and brown make black? Well, remember that blue and orange are complements. If you look at a color slider in Photoshop, you'll notice that when you start to brighten brown, it begins to turn orange. So brown is part of the complementary group versus blue. Okay, so we know how to find the opposites of the stupid boring colors, but how do we find the opposites of the colors in between? If you refer to a gradiated color wheel, you'll be able to find your color and then locate whatever color is opposite. If you happen to have the internet, we've also included a link in the description of this video to an online tool that will help you find the perfect complement. When you make gray, you're mixing black and white. Adding this to a color is called toning it, and it mutes or muddies the overall hue. So, will mixing a more gray color with its complement ever produce a rich black or neutral? No, that's not science. So now, you know how to make your own black paint. Or, it, just buy your own. Either way, like and subscribe.